Hey, my name's Lee Pycroft. I'm a makeup artist. I've been working in the fashion, beauty and entertainment industry for many years. I usually work on the covers of magazines or getting celebrities ready for the red carpet. But today I'm working for Boots and we're going to create two beautiful party looks. One's violet sparkly eyes with luminous skin and the other is glossy red lips and flirty lashes. So here we are on look two now. This is our sparkling violet eyes, our lustrous skin and our glossy buff coloured lip. What we've done so far is we've used a Rimmel Renew and Lift foundation all over the skin and then we've moved on to a bourgeois blush in Rose de Jasp. And the brilliant thing about this colour is it just gives this luminous finish. It's got a slightly sparkly texture to it. And then we've also used a Benefit Moonbeam highlighter all the way up the cheekbones. This is gorgeous because it has a golden undertone. So what we're going to move on to now is our violet eyes. So I'm going to use a bourgeois violet shade um, and I'm going to wet it. So I'm going to use a flat brush and make it into a creamy texture. So you want to add enough water just so you get a nice dense coverage. And pressing the colour on, again, just gives you a clean, smooth coverage. So I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just blending into the socket of the eye. So we're not cleaning away the colour we've applied, we're just literally blending the edges and pull the eye out and just get that corner shape. So it all blends out so it looks smooth and clean. So for our next step, what I'm going to do is actually blend into the socket line with this beige palette, which is by L'Oreal, made for me naturals. And the great thing about these neutral tones, they blend really well when you're using colour. So you can just sculpt the eye, but it's more of an invisible finish. It just softens that area in the socket line. Just look straight ahead. This helps just give an invisible shadow that shapes the eye a little bit more. Okay, we're going to move on to a liquid liner by Urban Decay called Ecstasy. And this is a beautiful purple shade. So I'm going to start applying this underneath the eyes. I want the underneath eye area to really look punchy. So I'm going to blend this under here. And a great way of using these coloured liquid liners, if you want to pump up your eye shade that you've used, you can apply a layer of this over the top. And it seals in the eye shadow and just gives that extra bit of Bavoom to the colour. Okay, so next I'm going to line the lash line with my um, 17 gel liner pencil. And this is just to back the lashes and give more definition to the eyes. Because black set against the violet colour is really very dramatic. And this is what creates that really bewitching, majestic end result. So I'm putting it right inside the rim of the eyes. Inside the waterline of the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to mascara, and this is Revlon Double Twist Mascara. And this is fantastic for giving very thick, luscious lashes. So look up for me. So I'm gonna use the tip of the wand just to get the bulk of product into the roots of the lashes. This helps me style them into place as I apply the colour. Okay, for that added dazzle to your eyes, we're going to use this Urban Decay Heavy Metal in Metalhead. And we're going to apply this underneath the eyes and it's got this really skinny little brush on so it's perfect for getting underneath the lashes. If you do want a bit of extra party sparkle then you can apply this just in gentle strokes under the eyes and the great thing is because you've got the violet shade behind the glitter it comes out looking quite solid. So 
we're going to finish off with the lips. We're using Revlon in the matte collection. This is Pink Pout. This has got a beautiful suede-like texture. I'm just going to skim that around the lips. It stays quite matte. So you can either go for a matte look like that, but I'm going to use a Revlon lip gloss over the top just to give it a little bit more of a high shine finish. And that's how you get the look. 